going on guys this is mast and welcome back to some more smite conquest today we're playing a little bit of on her in the jungle and we're meme building a bit i might have to mute that man jesus christ um yeah we're doing sort of an on her meme build it's sort of not a meme build i don't know how bad it's actually gonna be if it's gonna be hot garbage or if it's actually gonna be kind of decent but the plan is we're gonna be going ability based on her in the jungle and we're basically gonna try and make our ultimate hit as hard as possible we've probably done ability based on her before but i don't think i've ever full committed like the way i want to today because i literally want to be committing to the ult and so the plan is uh we're going to build pen and not focus on power. Like, I'm actually not planning to go trans or anything. We're literally just going to build, like, Jotuns. We're going to build, like, Brawlers, Crusher, probably Aussie, and just go absurd pen and then just melt face with the ult as soon as we can. Uh, I might have to jump on this. Oh, that was okay. Dead. <laughs> okay. Cheeky little dash. I'm surprised. What are you? My man, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> that was uh that was a nutty dash from Sir Ket, man. I don't know how she got that off. That's crazy. Did I auto cancel my impale? Did I goof? I feel like I literally couldn't kill her there. I don't know if I'm tripping or not. Like she just like instantly what are you doing here? Instantly got out. Hi. Can I help you? What is this game, man? Yeah. They are. Why is she here? Oh, let's go. I wanted to get around that little corner if we could. Are you kidding me, man? Does she live? No, she doesn't live. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> I want to talk about stuff, man. It's been, there's been a break because I've been playing the shit out of Divinity and I wanted to actually talk about it for the first part of the video. And then we just go for a quick three kills real quick. Support even was happy and or kind enough to donate her life. So yeah, sorry about the break, boys. I, uh, <laughs> I've been absolutely hooked on Divinity. I finally finished it. To, to put in some context, because I know I brought it up at some point, um, I have played four saves on Divinity. I started a save, got about halfway through the game, uh, like the very end of, I think it would be considered Act 2, and then was like, you know what, I kind of want to restart with, with some new characters now that I know more about the game and the abilities and stuff, do some new stuff. Uh, and then I tried a Lone Wolf run, which is where you run like one to two people instead of uh, like four people. And then I was like, this feels kind of OP. I'm going to do something else. So we got a multiplayer save going with me and some friends. And that one's about halfway through. And then uh, like at the same time we did that because I wanted to keep playing on my own. I did a single player save. So I have put in probably an absurd amount of time into Divinity. I probably have like 100 hours on, on Divinity over the past month, which is absolutely insane. I know I have like 90 hours over the past two weeks alone, which is kind of like absurd. Um, I've just been playing the absolute shit out of it. But we're finally done. I finally beat the single player. I'm going to beat the multiplayer, but that one we're playing a lot slower because it's kind of just when people are down to play. Uh, but yeah, we're probably back to normal uploads. I'm probably, what's funny is I might still play it a little bit in my free time anyways. I might actually play some more single player and, and either just keep playing the same game or play like Divinity 1 or Baldur's Gate. But whatever I do, I'll try and be a little more responsible. All right. But I got to say, man, I had so much fun with that game. Which is funny because I bought it forever ago and played a tiny bit and was like, this game fucking sucks and I quit. <laughs> um, and I think it's just because it's been forever since I played turn-based and the early game of that game is kind of absurdly difficult for absolutely no reason. Like the very beginning of the game, like they just decide, nope, you can't fight shit, do story stuff. Or not even story stuff, but like you just don't get to, uh, you don't get to really like fight people right away. You have to do like a little baby bit of quest progression and I wasn't having that. God, I want to kill her, man. If I if I could actually blink that, excuse, where are you? What? <laughs> you can throw that through walls? I didn't even know you could do that. I, can we kill her? Nope, I goofed. And I can't impale her because of her stupid passive. Oh, if I hit that man, she might have been dead. Yeah, I kind of wanted to punish her for that. Hell's going hard and I respect it. Sucks that we used our blink already. I'd go on Cuckoo so hard if I could. Wait, do we get two? I am just whiffing stuff, man. My God. Can I greedily save ult? Look at that damage. Oh my, oh my God. It's, can you not be here? Does she miss? <laughs> that was not the miss. Oh my God. Of any time. I was so dead, man. We don't have beads. I'm so greedy. It's like we're going against the Sir Cat Terra. Nah, it's fine. We go blink. Anyways, yeah, this game's kind of weird. I don't know what's happening. 
we're just like running at people and they're letting it happen and I don't know why. Yeah, I think we'll be getting back to pretty normal uploads. I'm honestly not sure with Smite content right now. I don't know what I want to do, man. I've been uh, I've been in this weird spot lately where I just feel shit playing the game seriously, you know? Which in a way it's like fun to not play it seriously. Like, you know, we get to mix things up. That's cool. But it feels kind of you, you guys ever get in that spot where you just don't want to play serious picks. It just feels kind of boring. Um, it makes sense, right? Like I've played the game for an absurdly long time, but you know, considering I haven't been playing nearly as much lately, I'm, I'm like a little concerned that I really don't want to play serious stuff because I feel like I genuinely at the moment feel like uploading meme picks for like a month and that's it. And you know, like if I just, I don't really want to record serious stuff, you know? So I don't know. Maybe we'll just play some of the more serious gods with really meme builds and have fun that way. But otherwise we're getting a lot more on her jungle. Okay, I don't think we get to do Actually, we get ult soon. We get we get it pretty soon. Fuck her up. Did I hit both? Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, that's bad. I kind of thought it would pull her. That was a really weird interaction. She had passive up, so it kind of makes sense, but it also really doesn't make sense because somehow he gets to hook her, but he doesn't get a chuck her after the hook because of passive. Kind of clunky, man. It's really funny. I actually, I threw the kill because I didn't think it would work that way. I was just waiting for her to come to me and then she didn't. So I didn't position up far enough to actually kill her. I just kind of stared on in disbelief. Uh, oh, slapped. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go, dude. A casual little 1 HP 1v2. Don't mind him. Just Anubis coming through. So, uh, the way this build works, by the way, I feel like I kind of, we talked about it, I didn't really explain it. Honor Roll is one of the most absurdly potentially broken abilities in the game. And the big reason that it's not actually completely broken is that, uh, for one thing, you're an ADC late game, so it's actually a little bit weird casting Honor Roll late game, because you have, you know, crit ADC build does a billion damage. Um, so Honor Roll's not super valuable once you get late normally. And, uh... And it takes a decent amount of time to cast. So even though it does absolutely insane damage, it's not like a Cuckoo ult where it's like the moment it hits you, you're dead. You have to keep hitting it over and over again to actually get the kill, right? So there's a little more commitment tied into it. You can't just chuck it at somebody and walk away. But with this build, if we build enough pen, we're going to be doing close to true damage. And if we do true damage on on her ult, we do, uh, God, what should this be? I want to say about 1300 base damage at max rank. And then I think it's 240% scaling, if I remember right. So basically, if we're doing true damage, they're dead if they're squishy, which is absolutely insane. So what I want to try and do is, assuming we get late enough in the game, we're going to build a ton of pen. We're not going to build all that much power. We're just going to build whatever power and pen combined like we can get. And uh, and we're going to see if we can literally just like one shot a squishy with our ultimate, and it'll be fun. Our autos are going to suck. That's basically all we're going to do is just try and impale ult people. But <laughs> but if they don't Aegis it, and if we hit the stuff, then they should get kind of deleted, and it'll be funny. Oh my, did I stack it again? I'm such a, can I jump this? Such a nut, man. I'm dead. I'm a nut, and I'm dead. What? Oh, did I really get Terra ulted? That sucks, man. I was going to ult them both. <laughs> we literally, like, insta died to the Terra ult proc. That's fine, man. I ate everything. We ate Cuckoo ult. We ate Terra ult. We ate Sir Kettle. I don't have beads. There's a Scotty. Oh my, okay. Ching, you might want to run, man. Yeah? Yeah, enemy missing right. Um, God, I want it just like that part of me that's like a normal person really wants to build trans. We're not doing it. We're resisting the urge. It is good. You know, 100 power, 240% scaling. It's pretty nutty. But we're committing, man. The more pen we get, the more late game we get. Because we're going to keep getting power. But we're not going to be able to keep getting pen, you know? Eventually, we run out of pen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to go Aussie at some point. Which will actually maybe make this kind of a unique hybrid build. I normally don't build Aussie because realistically, Aussie kind of blows. But but it does have pen. Gives us power, gives us attack speed, gives us pen, gives us lifesteal, gives us a ton of stuff. And for this build, it might end up being nutty. Which actually, maybe I should have gone that here, honestly. I think we're going to go Jotun's so I can ult more. But it could be good. Let's see if they get greedy, man. This Cuckoo's wild. This Cuckoo goes everywhere. Okay, I'm ignoring you. Oh, he actually, okay. Juke, right? Nice. 
I don't know if he really juked. He just kind of slightly shifted. But, you know, hot predicts. God, I don't want to dive so bad, but it's so dumb. <laughs> that, is, that is an almost full HP tank right there. But I want to kill her. Can you stop? Are you kidding? Okay, thank God. How did you hit that? Can you stop? Do you really? Dude, I love Scotty. Look at the interactions right here on her part. My God. Look at the talent. She pressed two and then she's like, have another one. Wait. Sir Cat's not really coming to this for some reason. Hell, I'm so sorry. I didn't want to die. Nope, I still don't want to die. <laughs> I really wanted to go in and help. This is just an absolute frag fest, my god. Alright, we're gonna farm for Jotuns real quick. The boys are slapping. Dude, hell's going hard with me? And then Anubis and Chiron are kind of popping off. Oh, I don't know, maybe Chiron just cleaned up, maybe it wasn't that hard. Anubis is popping off for sure, though. Alright, let's grab a Jotuns. Let's actually grab beads. I gotta say, if we wanted to meme extra hard, I could go upgraded Sunder and we could try and Sunder ult people. But I think I think that's basically bad. What's really funny about Sunder is like the higher damage you build, the worse Sunder actually is. Because it interrupt like that if there was no animation time for Sunder, it would be so absurdly broken on damage build, straight up. Like I would actually unironically build it a lot and, and just be an absolute hyper chad. But because of the animation time, it's just straight up not good on squishies. Because you interrupt your own possible damage to just hit more potential damage. So it just makes sense to build it on tanks. Which kind of sucks, man. I think it'd be so fun to build it on jungle. And just melt. Damn, that Nike is level 10. Alright, can we clap somebody? Tear up. That's right. That kind of works that way, doesn't it? She has passive. Damn, I almost big brain that, man. I ulted for the uh <laughs> the CC immune so that I could move a little better or not even the uh not even the CC immune. The auto can't How what do you call this, man? I tried to take away my attack slow with ult so that we'd be able to get out of the cuckoo ult, but we didn't quite get it. So big brain. Didn't work. So big brain. All right, where's this bitch at? I'm sick of her and her dog. No. Where is she? Found her. I missed that? Really? What, boys? Hit it. What? All right, we're good. <laughs> Nubis versus the world. Oh my god. He got, are you kidding? I really want to clean up Sir Cat. I think she gets the back off. Hey, get out. Yeah, her speed's down. I thought her speed might be up, so I might be able to catch her. Nah, we beads this. She didn't even actually put the thing on me, but we beads it. Oh my, dude, I'm bad. What are you doing? Go. <laughs> I actually, I don't understand, man. I really don't understand. Why, why, why would you not go to base? Like, sure, you temporarily juke me for half a second, but like, then you die. Even if I don't have teammates, she dies, right? I don't get it, man. Get in the, hang on. Get in the tower. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can't knock her back in her two, right? I was like, all right, we'll wait it out. And then I can't knock her back in her one. Dude, Hyra sometimes just likes to absolutely like hyper cuck people with certain kits and certain matchups. I kind of hate it. Unless I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping balls. Maybe I'm wrong. But like, I'm pretty sure her two's knock back immune. Her one obviously is knock back immune. So I can just eat a big dick, right? Like, that's what I can. Anubis, this is not the play, but we're committing. This is how we throw game. But we're committing to it. 
Okay, we're dying. <laughs> no, no, I'm done. I'm done. This man's one HP. I'm dipping. I was ready to full commit, but he kind of killed himself. Are we going back to it? All right, boys, we can go back to it. Now that we got back up to tank. It's actually crazy nobody's noticed yet, man. The entire team has disappeared off the map. <laughs> where could we where could we possibly be? <laughs> oh my god, that's so stupid. <clears throat> I always think that's funny. When people like it's one thing when you just get a nice like FG sneak and it lasts like 10 seconds and it's like, damn, that was a good sneak. And it's another when they're gone for an entire minute and somehow people don't realize like what they're up to. I never understand that. Like they had so long to figure it out. And they didn't. <clears throat> Alright, what the hell do we build? Aussie? Yeah, I think we get that Aussie going. So what's our pen right now? 15, 10, 15. Nice. Yeah, we have a 40 pen. Pretty nutty. For for context, for reference, uh, where do I find it? Cuckoo. Why do you... Are you kidding me, man? Okay, well, this build just got worse. Sir Ket, 52. We have almost... We do almost true damage to Sir Ket. Dead! Oh. That was a huge CC mutant. Oh! <laughs> if I hit a little bit... Can I... Okay, I just like ghost hit through Terra, hit Cuckoo. And I like it. Damn. Yeah, if we hit a, a tiny little baby bit more of that ultimate, I swear he's just dead. How the hell did that auto reach it, man? It looked like it just shouldn't have, and it just did. Ooh. Yoink. Yeah, Aussie was the play. Oh my god, our pen's stupid. Like, this build, nope. This build realistically sucks, but it is fun. Yeah, get her with all the stuns. Let's go. We do also have FG. I kind of forgot about that. We have FG, so we're hitting a little extra hard right now. But, but oh my god, man. The autos are slapping. Our attack speed's kind of meh. But we do get some from Aussie and Crusher. It's actually not terrible. For a meme build, this is probably really solid. Uh, more pen. Excuse you. We're going to melt her. Hang on. We're going to tactically keep her from taking Phoenix, and then we're going to chase her down once her ult's up. Come here. Come here. All right, we have to kill Minion Wave. Crush her, do the, crush her, do the rest. Where is she? Scotty. Is she just running at the boys, or did she actually get away from me? She might have actually gotten a back off. Oh, there she is. She just zooms. <laughs> All right, we're coming. Coming for the fatty cleanup. Hello. Oh, can you not delete her before I get here, man? Please. Whatever. They're all dead. It's fine. She doesn't know. Oh! <laughs> The block. <laughs> that was so toxic. Dude, the moment I put that, the moment I put that, okay, we can't end, can we? I'm gonna try. The moment I put that pillar down, I knew. Oh my god, our burst damage is filthy. This is actually sick. We're hitting a lot harder than I thought we would. I think it's FG diff right now, is the thing. We're getting that little extra. Are they giving it up? Scotty, stop. You better not. Okay. <laughs> that poor Sir Ket, man. She got so bullied. Oh, I love that on her. I love when you get the absolute max range on her jump where they just don't think it's going to reach and then it does reach and then you absolutely dumpster them. It's so satisfying. Anyways, that was a short one. I'm sorry, boys. I wish we could get a longer one. Uh, we're not going to do a part two. That one was pretty short. We're not going to do a part two. We're just going to upload a short video. And I'll just start working on more videos. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Fun little meme build. Oh my god, the damage is filthy, man. Anubis slapped, we slapped. Jesus Christ. 19.9k. And that was with me having semi-potato aim. Because I've played 
90 hours, 90 plus hours of divinity in the past two weeks. And I've only played like 20 hours of smite in the past two weeks. And those 20 hours were at the very beginning of those two weeks. I don't think I've really played in like the past week at least, but thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.